how you doing, good? I'm gonna get this ring piping. Okay, we got time for that. Oh, no, I don't have time for that. <coughs> Only thing is, the parents are gonna come. Peace, love, and freedom. I'm gonna give you a bye. Love and freedom, you know what? Give me a shabai. Call me on the name in. Follow me on Instagram, my life is real power to do what you want. Been to mind games? Have you? Oh, wait. I think I'm getting pictures. I thought I was going to stop. Hold on. <laughs> you guys, this is still a new deck, so. about the mind game. <laughs> Has someone waiting? Has someone been waiting patiently and just saying I just don't know how it works? Is someone healing? Does someone want to heal? Is someone very patient? Yeah, if someone wants any of this don't tell me it's Mr. Tree in it, too. Because I know. Okay? I know you want to know. And you know what you need to do to be a positive energy. What have you got there? Give me a card. Um. <laughs> um. Yeah, they are gathering up the courage to heal. Pisces, that's what's in their heart. Yeah, they got marriage on the table. Okay, so Pisces, this could be you or your person. You put the energy where it is. Okay. So, what I'm getting from the cards is your person wants a new beginning after a long period of time. They are obsessed. Obsessing, obsessed, cannot get enough, need more for their life. <laughs> and they have been manifesting. 
incessantly. And just to let you know, trying to have you come across my feed so that I watch your video, that's not going to happen. So, yeah, I just put not interested in it because I don't want you to think that every time you try to get into my feed, like you, it's not going to work. So, you know, you're going to have to come correct or not at all. Mr. Tree emoji. Okay. Back to the reading. Sorry, guys. Don't want to scare you. Um, they want to talk. They want to talk. Maybe more than an emoji, huh? That would be wise to start talking. Yeah, um, they've decided that they want to be in this. They're weighed down by this. Okay, um, they want to put in work, too. They want to take responsibility. For the mind game. Mm -hmm. And they want to win at all costs. Because they can't get enough of you. They know you're amazing in every way. They are a little insecure about the twin flame journey. This could be, you guys could be old friends. You could have known each other in past lives. You've got the six of cups here and the five of pentacles. So <coughs> they also miss you. They miss you. They miss your presence in their life. Okay? Pisces. So your person wants a new beginning. They've waited a long time. They're manifesting. They're doing everything they can to have you appear magically in their life back again without them having to actually take responsibility and do the hard work or correct thing, right? They just want to think you to death or, you know, manipulate energy and astral project into your energy field to try and get you to come back rather than actually do the right thing, okay? Now, this is in their thoughts. That's, this is what they would rather do. They would rather obsess and manipulate energy. But what they actually end up doing, what I'm seeing them actually end up doing, is taking responsibility for mind games. So, you know, that's neither here nor there. That I'm just reading what the cards say to you, okay? They definitely do um, want to heal and build up courage to talk to you. We've got healing, talking, courage, and decision in their heart. Okay? Eight of Wands, Two of Wands, Four of Swords, and Queen of Wands. I do want to say, if you guys have sent this person a message or anything like that, they have intensely listened to whatever you've said. Okay? And took notes. Just saying. Um, that's just for some of you. That's not going to be for everybody because not everybody is talking to their person, right? But we do have the Twin Flame card at the bottom of the deck. So this could be a very intense connection. Um... Four of Wands and Temperance in their actions. They want to marry you. They want to balance this out. Uh, they know you're a little literal earth angel, literally in the flesh. Um, they want to make things work with you. They want to put a ring on it. They want the house, the dog, the home, the white picket fence, okay? And they want to take responsibility for their mind game. Um, this is in their action, so this is what they plan to do about it, okay? Now, whether they actually do it, you know, I don't know. But I do know that that, that is a plan of theirs. It is one of their strategies. If this manipulation tactic and obsession and whatever energy work that they're doing doesn't work, 
So I highly suggest um, for those of you who are dealing with applying seeds or for those of you who, um, you know, are on the opposite. Whoever's getting the energy manipulation tactic done to them, I highly suggest when you feel thoughts of your person, ignore them. Okay, whenever you, if you, if your person has a social platform and their video runs across your feed, no, that's not by accident. They manipulated the energy to make that happen, but not interested. Don't watch it. Okay, um, if you see them in your dreams, if you um, think about them out in the middle of nowhere, out of the day, completely disregard that thought. It's all energy manipulation. This person is not taking responsibility, and the only way that they're going to is if you don't allow this to work. Okay, so don't allow it to work. Let them waste their money, their time, their energy trying to do something not right. And then either they're going to grow up and take responsibility for their actions or they're going to continue to be a child and play with other people who are, you know, not strong enough in their spiritual walk with God to realize what's happening. It is a yes, Pisces, if you came to this question, to this reading with a question, opportunity, I would definitely take it as a yes. So the two of you being together could be this beautiful, wonderful thing if your person can get over this crap. Because this is crap. Magician and the devil? Mm-mm. No. Um, the positive aspects of this card is that they think you're really hot. Uh, they're, they, you know, want to sex you up. Um, they love every aspect of you, wind, fire, earth, air. I said wind. <laughs> air, fire, earth, water. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, you know. And, and they think that you, you anything, the sky's the limit for you. They think that, you know, you can reach your dreams. That is the positive aspect. But the energy coming off of these cards is that they're manipulating you. Okay? So trust me when I tell you, when they just pop up in your head, it is not because it's a sign from God. It is because they are manipulating energy. So make sure that you cast that out. Okay? Don't play with that. This person, if you allow them to manipulate you back into their energy, they will never be with them. Because this is what they do with everyone. They play games with everyone. It's why they're single. Okay? And that's for some of you, not all of you. Some of you, you know, uh, your person may not be single. And if that's the case, you know, you should let them go, period, anyway. Just because, obviously, they're in the wrong if they're with someone else trying to pull you, right? But, yeah, um, this is an opportunity. It would be a beautiful opportunity if this person grew up and acted like a grown human being, right? Now, whether that happens or not, you know, Pisces, I'm going to tell you what the cards say, not necessarily what you want to hear. So hopefully you got something out of that that helped you. Um, <clears throat> now, I will say that obviously not every single time you think about this person, it might not be manipulation or obsessive behavior. There is that, right, because I am reading for thousands of people. But if it's consistent, consistent, weird thing then just be careful and know that it very well could be energy manipulation, okay? Especially if this person refuses to do what's right, which is pick up the phone, right? Then you know, without a doubt, they're playing mind games. And in their actions, they plan to take responsibility for mind games. So, I mean, it's like they're telling on them themselves right here, right? So just know that. Um, it's up to you if you want to entertain someone like this. I personally would probably keep them at a distance um, unless they did some kind of miraculous thing to prove to me that they really meant what they were saying. 
when they came forward. You know, it would have to be pretty damn good in order for me to turn my head. Just saying. Because your girl Spirit Owl has dealt with men. Men have done so much magic on Spirit Owl to try and get her. It is ridiculous. One of them being a Pisces. Actually, more than one Pisces man has done massive energy spell work, whatever, to try and get me. And obviously, they don't listen. Right? So, um, yeah. Spirit Owl doesn't put up with that crap. She does not do it. She knows when it's happening to her. Look, my hands are shaking. I get upset. Like, I don't play about that stuff. So, um, you guys shouldn't either. You know, men should take responsibility and act like men, not like little boys. Uh, and this can be for a female, too. If females play with magic, too. You know, I don't play with magic. I don't do that. I don't cross people's free will ever. If God don't do that, I don't do that. Period. All right. I love you guys. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will be back.